Biden may withdraw from U.S. presidential election. This summer, Joe Biden may refuse to participate in the presidential election and propose the candidacy of Michelle Obama, the wife of former U.S. President Barack Obama. This is reported by the German edition of Der Spiegel. The Democratic Party of the U.S. does not exclude that Biden may announce such a decision by August 2024 at the party convention in Chicago. Der Spiegel noted that Democrats even included Michelle Obama in their public opinion polls regarding potential candidates. Many Americans dream of a woman president, Der Spiegel writes. According to journalists, the reason is Biden's advanced age. Two-thirds of Americans consider him too old to lead the country for another four years. At the same time, many Americans are not very eager for Donald Trump to win the election, whose age is not much younger than the current head of state. Also playing a role is the large number of cases currently being considered in courts against the politician. Biden, who will turn 82 years old just weeks after Election Day, November the 5th, is already the oldest president in U.S. history. Trump is 77. Privately, Democratic operatives close to the campaign worry constantly about Biden's health and voters' dim perceptions of it. In recent weeks, aides have begun walking at Biden's side as he strolls to and from Marie Marine One, the presidential helicopter, on the White House South Lawn in an apparent effort to help mask the president's stiff gait. Still, neither party is making serious contingency plans. Whether voters want to believe it or not, the general election matchup is all but set. The presidential election in the US is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. The favorites in this year's race from the Democrats are the incumbent President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. Recently, the auditor of the Trump media company was accused of fraud and deceiving clients through violations of current legislation. Ukraine's top priority in military aid is US MQ-9 Reaper drone, Politico. Ukraine is increasingly interested in obtaining the MQ-9 Reaper reconnaissance drone from the United States, having moved it to the top of its wish list in recent months, according to Politico. It is noted that interest in these drones has increased as Ukraine plans operations for the summer and looks for new ways to help identify Russian targets deep in the rear. Since the early days of the full-scale war, the MQ-9 Reaper has been a priority for Kyiv as it sought to use them for strikes and surveillance. But recently, Ukraine has abandoned some of its intentions and is mainly interested in using the Reapers for reconnaissance only. This was stressed by four people familiar with the matter. Three industry representatives and a person familiar with the Ukrainian requests said that the desire for drones is not new, but that the request has become more important to Kyiv as it seeks any battlefield advantage it can get. Politico stated that the United States is still hesitant to provide the MQ-9 Reaper because of fears that Russia could shoot them down. Back in 2022, a group of members of Congress, including representatives of both parties, called on the U.S. Department of Defense to provide Ukraine with modern drones which have not yet been provided. The letter from 17 members of Congress is addressed to Pentagon Chief Lloyd Austin and is dated the 21st of August 2022. It states that Ukraine could better counter Russian threats with advanced drones such as the MQ-1C Grey Eagle or MQ-9A Reaper. However, at the same time, it became known that the Biden administration would not provide Ukraine with advanced drones due to fears of escalation, despite requests from Kyiv and a bipartisan group of members of Congress. The Russian army is advancing around the city of Avdiv in Donetsk and Kupiansk in Kharkiv region. This was reported by the U.S. Institute for the Study of War. The analysts assess that Russian forces are likely to gain some tactical advantages near Kupiansk but are unlikely to be able to translate them into the broader mechanized maneuvers needed for an operationally significant advance capable of capturing more territory in Kharkiv Oblast and pushing towards the administrative borders of Luhansk and Donetsk Oblasts. It is reported that the Russian troops entered the center of Kislivka, located in the southeast of Kupian, from where they advanced to a depth of 480 meters in the direction of Kotlyarivka. The Kharkiv Regional Administration confirmed that the Russians resumed their offensive in the direction of Kupiansk. 
Fierce battles are currently taking place for Kislivka, Tabayivka, Sinkivka, Petropavlivka, Stelmaksivka, Berestovoy, Novoyagorivka, Grikivka, Makivka, Nevsky, Turnev, Yampolivka, Torsky, Sarabryansk and Bylogorivka. The U.S. Institute notes that the Russian army has advanced to the northwest of Avdiv, especially the central part of Okritny and west of Solovayovo. It is noted in the information that Russia has taken control of most of the city of Arkhangelsk, located in the northeast of Okritny and north of Avdiv. In addition, the Russians claim to have advanced 3.85 kilometers wide and 2 kilometers deep in the central part of Arkhangelsk, as well as east of Novo Alexandrivka, northwest of Karamik, in the direction of Novo Pokrovsk and Sokolivka and Pervomaysk to Novelsky, west of Semenivka and Berdichev.